July 20th marks the 25th anniversary of the first time a human stepped upon the moon. Historians call the event the most significant science achievement of all time. To prepare for the Apollo flights, astronaut training included flights in many types of vehicles, including a very unusual one developed by NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center in California. Dryden engineers created a vehicle that allowed astronauts to develop the techniques for an actual landing on the lunar surface. This vehicle was called the Lunar Landing Research Vehicle, or LLRV. To simulate conditions on the moon, where there is practically no atmosphere and the gravity is only one-sixth that of the Earth, the vehicle utilized a very efficient tubular steel construction and an automatically controlled jet engine that counterbalanced five-sixths of the vehicle's weight. NASA pilot Joe Walker was the first to fly in the LLRV in October 1964. After the first LLRV concept was thoroughly tested by Dryden and accepted as a training device, three modified versions were built. These were the Lunar Landing Training Vehicles, or LLTVs. Like the earlier LLRVs, they were also built by Bell Aero Systems of Buffalo, New York. A conventional jet engine producing 4,200 pounds of thrust was used for takeoff. Then the pilot switched to hydrogen peroxide thrusters to control the rate of descent while simulating a moon landing. Because of the lack of lunar atmosphere, steep angles were required to turn the vehicle. Here, with the vehicle operating under lunar conditions, NASA pilot Joe Walker regulates the lift rockets to slow the rate of descent and make a soft landing. He also had eight small rocket motors mounted on the side of the craft that maneuvered the vehicle in flight. This movement allowed the pilot to move horizontally and simulate the selection of possible landing sites. He could also simulate the initial portion of the lunar takeoff. Dryden's lunar landing research vehicles may have looked more like giant insects than devices to help moon flight and landing techniques, but their contributions to the Apollo program were extremely significant. The first person to walk on the moon, Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong, said later the project would not have been successful without the type of training and simulation developed on Dryden's lunar landing research vehicles. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger.